this area usually packed on a Saturday night, even more so this weekend because of an anime convention nearby. So when authorities in a chopper overhead started warning people that there was an armed suspect on the loose, people started running. People don't know what's going on. It's like they're totally panicking down there. Sky Fox overhead is suspects from a wild pursuit ran into the crowd in Japanese Village Plaza. There was so many people like just ran into all the stores. It was insane. It was just a lot and everybody was just in distress. The children were just crying. Everyone thought that they were going to die in that moment and it was really stressful. Natalie Martinez works in the San Rio store and started directing the panicked shoppers into the stock room. There was these girls and they were like, get down, like he's shooting, get down, he's shooting people. I, I couldn't stand like all the little kids that were just crying and they were like scared. They were like, am I going to die? Oh my God, like it's so scary. Similar scenes played out all over the area. I took cover. I went to the stairs area where no one could see me. I just hid. Server Anthony Chan said people were pouring into Hakata Ramen, which was at capacity at the time. He says it was 20 minutes of pure terror and tension. Claustrophobic and uh, a lot of anxiety, I feel like. Um, but besides that, again, I try to keep my calm and still knowing that he's still on the loose. I don't debate him. I want to come work tomorrow. Sheriffs say the pursuit started in Firestone when deputies spotted a Mercedes involved in another pursuit in Gardena earlier in the week. At one point, the driver reversed into a patrol unit. Later, two suspects jumped out and tried to carjack another car. Passengers out, they're getting in another car. They're getting in another, oh, the other car's like, I'm out of here. You're not getting in my car. After a dangerous high-speed chase, the suspect crashed into a Volkswagen on First Street and Central Avenue. Oh, no. Oh. The plaza was shut down for hours as authorities searched, but those suspects got away. No one knows what he looks like, and um, he's still out there, and so is his friend, so I have no idea, like, I have no idea what to expect. Well, taking a live look here, you can still see glass, debris still in the street. Now, thankfully, the driver of that Volkswagen is expected to be okay. Two of those suspects are in custody, but two still outstanding, and authorities say they should be considered armed and dangerous. Reporting live from Little Tokyo, I'm Chelsea Edwards, Fox 11 News. I'll send it back to you in the studio. That was a crazy pursuit. Thankfully, no one was more seriously hurt. Chelsea, thank you.